Hey guys, welcome back to DIY Auto Body. Today we're going to start on this Lexus. I'll show you what we got here. There's part of the damage. Um, this is a uh, customer vehicle that it, their son had a couple mishaps. See on the door there. And then fender. I think it was a couple accidents that caused this, but. And the front bumper. And uh, they're going to, uh, we're going to replace that front bumper, replace the fender, and repair the door, and repair the quarter panel. They want to, they want to save um, everything they can, keep it, keep the cost as low as possible, and repair every panel they can. So we're going to repair that bumper too. So we're going to do this basically this whole side on this front bumper cover. So today we're going to get started on this. I'm going to set you up and uh, show you what, we've, what we're what uh, we doing. All right, we're back. And I've got the front bumper taking off this Lexus ES350. I've got this fender here that I was going to replace. And I'm thinking about trying to uh, straighten that out. So I'm going to do, put a little bit of time into uh, straightening that out. Uh, save this guy some money. And see how it comes out. So I'm going to... I'm going to let you guys watch, so we'll put you on a time lapse here. Okay guys, here I'm just uh, telling you what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to remove the inner fender on this uh, Lexus so I can access behind the fender uh, to help uh, push out those dents. What, what I'll be doing is I'll be getting a, uh, a dolly. Right there, you see me putting a dolly behind the fender, and what I'll be not, what I'll be doing is knocking down the ridges around the edge of that uh, dent. Okay, and th what that helps do is release the pressure on that dent, so it's it pops out easier and uh, flattens it out. And now I'll be remo I'm removing that bracket to uh, uh, easily access the uh, crease that's that's there. So I'm trying to I'm trying to pound that crease out from behind. Um, it uh, came out somewhat, but I'm gonna, as you're gonna see, I'm gonna have to stud pull that to get that all the way out. Okay guys, here we are taking a look at the fender that I just uh, straightened out. As you can see, it came out pretty well. Um, it's going to need a little bit of body filler, and then I should be able to straighten the rest of that. So, I'm getting onto the quarter here, the quarter panel here, uh, <coughs> removing all the grinding off all the the paint and the damaged area. And what happened on this uh, hit is it, when it got hit, it flat it flattened one of the body lines that goes around the edge of that quarter panel. Um, took out the uh, the body line. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the stud welder here to weld uh, to weld studs on on that body line as it goes around that uh, wheel and pull try and pull that uh, body line back out as best as I possibly can. So you see me here uh, stud welding this. Uh, it's important to have all the paint removed. You can't have any residue or dust. Um, because if not, then the, the, the studs don't want to weld uh, to the quarter very well. So sometimes I'll, you'll see me uh, sand the head of the stud a little bit, and what that does is gives it a better uh, uh, connection when uh, welding it on there. So, so here I am pulling the uh, edge out, or pulling the uh, body line out, and uh, I'll go, go through and do that, and then uh, uh, build the body filler up to, to, create, to finish creating that line.
Okay guys, here you see me uh, grinding out a dent that's on the uh, back half of that quarter panel. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, stud welding uh, at the lowest point of that dent uh, in order to pull it out. See here I'm sanding uh, the tip of that uh, uh, stud and then I'll be welding that on there in order to slide hammer that out. Now when you slide hammer it out you don't want to slide ham you don't want to pull it too far because if you pull it too far then you're you're actually pulling it past the the contour of the body. So you, you just want to you want to pull it out and you want to sometimes knock down the ridge that it creates around the dent. Um, but you got to be careful doing that too. You don't want to uh, knock it down too far on that ridge. So you want to get the dent almost all the way out within I would say a sixteenth something around that uh, in nature. <coughs> So here I'm finishing up the uh, stud welding on the, the quarter and we're going to get ready to uh, lay the first coat of body filler in there. thank each and every one of you for watching and supporting this channel um, that's the quarter panel repair um, next video we'll get into repairing the door on that Lexus and finishing up the fender and getting it prepped out for, for paint so thanks for watching uh, be sure if you like this video to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button I really appreciate it, it really helps out the channel